Okay, so we basically had figured out uh, yesterday or the day, I think it was Sunday, right? Yeah. Something like that. Today's Tuesday, the 11th. 11th of uh, August. August 11th, 2020. Uh, 20. Man, I'm getting old. <laughs> anyway, um, and so the alternator is definitely bad, and we've, we've gotten our new one. Our brand spanking new. Got to show it to him. Brand spanking new. Remanufactured in Mexico. So let's hope this is going to work. Um, so we're going to replace that guy. And um, <clears throat> so the uh, the deal is uh, there's there's a bolt that adjusts for the tension of the belt that we got to remove. We've already removed the the main. Let's see. I've already removed the main plug in the back. Uh, that main plug sends information. That's hot. Sends information to the to the ECU and stuff like that. Uh, but anyway, um, so some guys, or the article you sent me. I turn on the light. Um, it's on. Oh, oh, it's on. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the article you sent me suggests that they're actually taking that and taking it down, but then they were like removing some cross member or something right. like that. And then I read some guy saying that he actually removed this thing right here. Man, you don't want to do that. That's, you know, because then you have to bleed the brakes and do yeah. all that stuff. And then some guy was saying, oh, just take it out through the passenger side. And, um, well, I don't know. Well, we're going to figure it out, right? Okay, so I've already disconnected the, let's see, let me see if I can put, all right, so that's definitely disconnected. Oh, you know what? We definitely want to disconnect the positive. You know why? Because that white one. Oh, it's got the. Comes straight to the. Yeah. To here. So let, let me get that and disconnect that real quick. Um, that way it doesn't short out to the body or anything, you know? Right. We'll be good there. Um, every time I'm pulling one of these off, I get reminded of a buddy of mine that I used to work with, Johnny Rodriguez not the singer and um, he had a he had this real nasty scar around his his um, ring finger and one day I had enough uh, gumption to ask him hey man how did you get that we had a Camaro a 1969 Camaro and the battery the the pot it was it was this way and the positive post was about that far from the chassis. It arced. So he's working on it and he does this. Yeah, with the ring. And it shorts out to that and he had to have it surgically oh, removed. Oh man. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> okay. Jesus. I'm going to remember that, you know? Yep. All right, so now I think that's a 14 millimeter right there. Let me, let me grab, I believe those are all 14 millimeters. And I probably have one. I'm hoping this will work. Hoping this guy will help me. Which ones are you doing? The uh, bolts? Yeah, I'm doing the, the main bolts. Oh, that's not it. Okay. Oh, it says also remove the terminal nut and the black wire from the B terminal. Yeah, I already did. Already did that. All right. Remove the adjusting bolt. That's what I'm okay, doing, right? Okay, so that's what he's doing now, right. removing the adjusting bolt and alternator nut. Yes, sir. Then remove the alternator belt from the alternator pulley. That's step four in the Honda CRX service manual, page 23-74 on the charging it, system. I don't know if, if uh, I got these at um, just some K-L-U-T-C-H, as they're called. One side is a 12, the other side's a 14, and... Um, it's a ratcheted, I'm not sure if it's even coming out in there, it's a ratcheted, so I uh, got a lot of leverage, and they seem to work. 
Right. You know? I'll find out when, when we're starting to get into the bolts that are way down in there. Yeah. What's going to happen? Whoa. Yeah, that is on there. That's it. All right, hang on. Let me grab something else here. All right. Easily. We'll put a little bit anti-seize on here. Just, right. just a hair. I don't, you know, I don't like to go overboard on this up. Alright, so that's that. Okay, and now there's another bolt. That's way down there. And you know what? I may need to get that one from underneath. We may have to lift the car up and get it from over here. Which one is it? It's the one way down here. Let me put it on the other. Oh, I see it. Right, right by the belt. Right behind the belt. It's right. Yeah. Down there. I don't even see it. Yeah. Yeah. Because that one's tight and it's not allowing me to move the. Yep. Yeah. It's not allowing me to move the belt. Okay. Um. We're gonna to have to get it from from underneath. Them. All right. Okay. So, no problem. Leave these here. All right. I'm gonna. And yeah, you can stop. I'll. Um, okay. So you are you gonna have to jack up the car, right? Yeah. I okay. Got, I got some jacks. A jack here. Jack hands and the jack. Here. Okay. So we're gonna jack it up so that he can get that uh, back bolt. Uh, that's by the by the belt, the alternator belt, from underneath. Jack your stuff So he put the... Tire stops. Tire chucks. And stops. Stops. Yeah. And now he's lifting. Okay. I want to lift it up high enough to where I can put a... Uh, let me figure out where I'm going to put one of, the, one of these guys. As uh, one of the teachers I work with that teaches automotive, you never, ever, 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 ever get underneath a car without jacks. Yep. Okay. Even like this. Right. Because you'll still get crushed. Yep. If this thing should go and you're underneath there, you're going to get crushed. Especially these cars, right? Because they're so darn low to the ground. Yeah. Um, he, had a he had a student that that happened to. Oh. His mom found him dead. Yep. Man, he was, that's... Uh, he was doing something. All right. I know I got to get up a little bit higher here. He was uh, up here in the front. There's a, there's a bar where you can actually lift the car up from, from the right. center. And I don't think we need to lift the whole car up. All I right. think we can get to it from here. But yeah, he was working on his truck. And... Uh, in gravel or something and uh, it, it fell on top of him and he he basically I guess he is uh, choked him it choked him you know yeah if it fell on his chest he wouldn't be able to breathe yeah yep. and, uh, okay I'll feel a lot more safe with that there and then what you do is you let it down a little bit So what's happening is it's it's kind of balancing off that. All right. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because that's like right in the middle of the car. And so, all right. So now I'm gonna figure out. Yeah. So there you can see it's almost dead center. Mm-hmm. 
All right. And let me see if I can get this guy on that down there. And that, you know what? Hang on. Let me grab another light, okay? You know, there is some liquid spilling. I think it's uh, the it's water AC. from the AC. All right. Yeah. Just um, to make sure. This is an old Sears light that I've had for, for a while. With an actual fluorescent yeah. tube. Yeah. Old school. Old school, man. But it works, you yeah. know. Okay. I kind of feel comfortable here. That's there. That's on top of that. All right. Now figure out where I'm at here. See if I can grab it. Oh yeah, I see how they're talking about removing it through through right here. Right. Yeah. Um, let, me, uh, let me do this number. Actually, there we go. Now we got some light. And you could, I think we could probably get a, a socket on here too, but I'm just going to try and do it with this first and then. Come on. Is this thing not going to play good? Or is this a 14? Oh, this one's a 14, man. You know what? Yeah. I'm gonna get a socket on there. All right. Because this thing has just teeth. Yeah. I don't know where you're at. Oh, here behind the. This tire. has teeth, and I want to get a socket on there because that bolt looks like it's already kind of been compromised a little bit. Right. All right. And you got a little. You got your. This. Yeah, the CV boot or CV whatever. CV boot. Uh, actually, it's not the CV boot. This is for your. Your. Uh, 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 steering. Oh God! Control rod. Oh, for the uh, rack and pinion steering. The, the boot is kind of yeah. already torn and all that, so that's kind of. I'm that not too, sure yeah. how that's going to affect your, you know, your um, your steering and stuff, you know. Yeah. Well, I hadn't really noticed anything. All right, just give me some time here. I'm getting my. This one, fourteen. And that doesn't work. You know what they always say, grab a bigger hammer. Yeah. You know, I think we're going to be able to pull that thing down through here. Just the way it is? Yeah. Without having to take any of that crossbar well, off? Well, like yeah, I'll, I'll uh, as a matter of fact, let, let me remove this first. Let me remove this plastic thing here. here. Um, okay, there's that. That's a screw. Because... Oh, the splash guard. It, the splash guard. It yeah. allows me to look to, to view it a lot a lot better. So let me let me remove that first. All right. All right. And uh, I can actually see better from there. So this is what he's talking about. Uh, now I'm just showing where. Oh yeah. That this is a splash guard made out of plastic you can see some damage down here uh, someone almost ran me off the road oh, are you serious? hit a curb 
uh, dented this. I think that's for the towing strap right there. Tore this up. Put a big gash in the. Uh, Purposely or just the, accident? No, nah, just accidentally. They didn't even stop though. They um, probably were drunk, man. Well, they were like, I was in the left lane. They were in the right. And they were trying to. They sped up to get in the left lane because the car in front of them was a little too slow. So they oh, kind of cut me off and I moved, a, I jerked it to the left because I thought they were going to hit me. Uh -huh. And uh, lost control of the car a little bit and ended up hitting the curb or the median. Here in the valley or so? No, this was up in Austin. Okay, and that goes there. I hope this is a pen. Yep. Cool. Okay. And I hope they come out. That's that's the. Sometimes they they don't come out very easily. You know? Yeah. And you gotta kind of beef around with them and. You eventually end up breaking them because they don't want to come out. Oh yeah, no, these are. I think these are metal. So yeah, these are. That's metal. good. I think those are. Yeah. Yeah, they're metal. So that's good that they're coming out. Uh, I was watching videos last night on that electronic idle control or air control air, valve. Right. And oh, this is how you clean it. And and okay, uh, I want to see the car run now. And they wouldn't. They would not show the car <laughs> like a before and after. Right. At least here we have some before and after befores, yep. and I'm hoping we can if we fix it. You know, I'm hoping that's the problem, and you don't have some major league other you know, thing happening. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Who's that? There's some other that they... Uh, oh, okay. So this this goes in first to hold it. Yeah, and there's another one here. Okay. It fell off. And right here. Okay. So just remember that. All right. That goes in first, and that kind of holds that up there. And then you put the screw through there, and that that uh, holds it even even more you know so i'm just gonna lay, lay them down over here okay and, and let's see these. yeah that does give it quite a bit of more, more room right now they suggest bringing it out through here but they're removing this guy i don't know if you can get that yeah they're removing that bad boy there so okay. that's the uh, mounting bracket yes holy cow <laughs> god this is the issue with Mechanics, man. The gorilla mechanics, they, right? I mean, I guarantee you, he he used an air ratchet on this yeah. thing, and you don't need to do that, you know. So you got to bring out the bigger. Yeah, that, yeah. that is way too tight. Man. That is way too tight. Holy. Like I said, I'll put a little bit of C's on here. Yeah. Anti C's. We'll torque them down. We have the the specs there. Uh huh. And so we'll torque them down correct correctly, uh, as Eric O says, to factory spec. <laughs> Man, you gotta watch some of his stuff. He's he's really funny. Did you have some? Uh, it looks like you replaced a um, a control a rubber. Were you having some issues with your sway bar? It looks like they put some really nice uh, oh. urethane. Well, when after the car got hit, uh -huh. and then uh, I think that was the summer 2018. Okay. Um, okay. I can't go. remember what part they fixed uh, uh -huh. because it, it, of course it got out of alignment and. Uh, um, yeah, I had some things fixed, whatever needed to fix, uh, just to make it drivable. Oh, I got you. And uh, so that may have been the part that they 
ended up. Um, okay, here's here's the um, here's the fun part. That bolt. That bolt, it comes all the way through. Yeah. So we're gonna have to um, hit it out. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this bolt up here, just momentarily. This one, I'm gonna put it back in, just to hold it there. Because when I take that bolt out in the bottom, It'll I don't drop. want this thing to drop. Right. On my head, if I'm underneath there. Well, then when I was in Ohio, I had some, they may have done the work there, uh, that crossbar that you were talking about. Uh-huh. Or the sway bar. All right, and then there's something else that is... All right. There's a nut that's holding a plastic thing on there. On this one right here. that out real quick. Hmm. Man, how the heck did I got that out of there? Right, let me let me work on the on the on the bolt real quick. Okay. Um, what can I hit that with? Um need a, all right. You notice that? What is it? It just looks like it's leaning that way a little bit. Oh well. You want to put another one or? No, I'm good. Okay. I'm good. I need to see what I can do here. Okay, so now he's going to try to knock out that bolt that goes through all the way. Yep. Where is it? Is that in the, right in the middle of the alternator or is off? Uh, it's, a, it's the bolt at the bottom. Oh, it's good. You know what? It's coming out real easy. Okay, that's good. Um, but there's a little there's a little guy underneath here that I'm going to need to... Uh, and I don't want to ruin the clip, man. I'm one of those guys that if you can do it without ruining the clip. Yeah. Okay, I know what I need to do. Oh. Oh, well, guess what happened? What? That clip was so dry. Yeah. It uh, it came undone then. That's all right. It's all right. We'll we'll uh I know how to fix that. All right, so here goes the bolt. Now what they're suggesting is to remove um, they're suggesting to remove the bracket the lower bracket here off of here, okay right uh, and we can surely try that but I believe that's the only way to get it out from yeah. underneath here. Yep. I don't know. There may be a way. Who knows? We'll, we'll, we'll. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Cut it out. Now, yeah. All right. Now, typically, I don't know if you're if you can see this, but typically, what? Yeah. What? Um, uh, what I've learned from like watching Eric O, uh, Eric O, but he's you know um, South Main Auto. That's what it is. Because he he he's in New Jersey and the uh, I'm sorry New York. They use a lot of salt, and so what he would do is he would spray this with this stuff called um, fluid fluid something. I have some there, and what it does is it stops oxidation. Okay. And stuff. So I'll show it to you here in a second. All right. Uh, let me get this out of here, and let me. Let me see about how that thing's going to come undone. And then we may have to remove that 
that bracket from down here. Yeah. yeah. It may be the only way to get it out from the bottom there. Because definitely that bracket is in the way. And it's just the bracket that's holding it up. Yeah. You know? All right. So let me put that right there. And let me do this bolt. But, I mean, we can, you know, we can try different things, right? Yeah. All right. Here we go. Now it's, it's, it's moving this thing until we can get it out of Yeah, I can see you moving it. It's, Let's see. So it's real tight. Let me, let me grab the new one. Let me show them what's happening. Because you can't see it. The bracket, the bracket is like on this and it's real tight on there. Right. So I'm trying to do this to get it to move out. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably spray it. Let me spray it with some, uh, um, where the heck did I leave it? Oh, that, uh, Oh, it's up here. Penetrating oil. Would, right. You, if you don't have penetrating oil, you can use uh, WD-40, you know, stuff like that. Let me just spray some down here. And hope. And get this out of the way so it don't over the tools. And then let me massage it up there, as they say. Yeah, it looks like it's moving easier than before. Yeah, kind of. Let me see if I can spray some from up here. And again, you know, try not to ruin anything, right? Okay. And that's as good as I'm not going to be able to get the, the one on the back. All right, so here's where the pry bar comes into play. Remember, we're gonna go to my buddy's, or we went to go try and buy one. Right. My buddy drove his, he's a cyclist. So he rode over here. <laughs> I go, man, his name is Chris, and he used to be a mechanic also. He's a, he's now a registered physical therapist. He goes, don't worry, man, I found it on the road, just so you can bang on it all you want. Looks like it's seen better yep, days. Sure does, yeah, look at that <laughs> handle broke off there, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Well, as long as it works. As long as it works, man. If not, I got, an, I got another one there that, that we could probably try and, and, uh, and, uh, oh, yeah. Okay, hang on. Let me, uh, this guy up. I think it's it's fairly loose. Although it doesn't want to come totally off here, but let me let me see if I can massage it from the top and see if I can get it out. the instructions there where they just said and remove yep uh, 
they don't ever tell you about the part that well that link i sent you from the crs community did that have you didn't print that out yeah they they basically said hey man you're gonna have issues yeah getting it out but i think it was a, a different car than, than this one. Oh, okay um There we go. Okay. Well, we got it out of there. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you want. <laughs> this is an old DeWalt to take out nails and stuff. And oh, yeah. Uh -huh. um, where the heck was this made? I think this was made in Mexico also. The U.S. and Canada tools. Echo in Mexico. Well, it worked. It worked. All right, so now, here's the fun part, right? Yeah. Is, let's see if we can come up with a way to get that out. You know, getting the other one in is going to be fun also. Yeah. Right? Usually, you know, we got to figure out how the heck we're going to get this one out. All right, let's see. Huh. Definitely not going to come out through here, okay? No, without taking so, out the. Yeah, not without taking out the hole. Um, I am. I'm thinking we're going to have to remove that bracket. Yeah. To get it out right through here. Yep. Right through here. Because I don't think it's going to go out. Some guys said you can get out through the passenger, but man, there's way too many hoses and stuff over there. You know? Yeah. And I don't think going up this way, you know, maybe, I don't know if you can see my hand removing yep. this bracket. Yep. I don't think we can get it through there either. I don't think so. I mean, I it, can remove that bracket. It's a lot pretty close. You know? Well, I, let's, yeah, let's try that bracket first. This one up here? I think that one's, uh, and that may be why this, uh, kind of messed up there yeah that it's torn up there that he was taking it out through there instead of the bottom the previous my regular mechanic that put that one in huh all right let me let me try that it, it doesn't yeah he did have a wrench on it he may have tried it up there and then maybe he came to the bottom i don't know yeah. we'll, we'll find out here right let's see what we can do real quick i'll get both of these guys See that will fit in there. Like, oh, don't remove that bolt because if you do, <laughs> the whole engine will fall. Out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and just remove the whole. Because right. I don't want anything to bother me, man. Right. Because you never know, it might catch up on something and... Let's see what'll happen. You can always just put this back. It can actually come out. Put them up here. No, I don't think so. Try it the other way. Try it this way. Nope. No. Yeah. Now, see, to me, that's just bad car design. 
Well, that's where you you think that they would make it uh, that uh, it would be either like a, a slightly smaller case on the alternator so that it could go right through there, slip right through there, or a little bit more room. Well, you know what my cousin says, right? What? The engineers, the automotive engineers, yeah. they need to make mechanics for at least five years yeah, before yeah. they give them their engineering degree. Yep. Okay. And you'll be able to change spark plugs while you're traveling 70 <laughs> miles down the road. I'm serious. Yeah. They'll, they'll figure it out, man. They're like, okay, this is like really, really hard. Yeah, I don't really, I don't think it's going to come this, this way, bro. Yeah. Yeah, it looks just a little bit too big. Yeah. Okay, so my next thing is it looks like he did yank that deal down there off of there. So let me, let me just set this aside. And um, so it doesn't fall on me somehow over here and see if I can get that but first let me let me let me just do something real quick. All right. 